Hello learners, I am Dr. Subodh Kishwani working with Indira Gandhi National Open University being a course coordinator of this particular course called BCOS 184 e-commerce. We are here with a very innovative topic which is on the lines of what we have discussed in our preceding discussion talking about you know the introduction to e-commerce. The today discussion you know talks more about types of e-commerce. I think we have seen that in our preceding video that that what exactly the e-commerce is and how important the e-commerce when we talk in a country perspective when we talk in a society perspective and we talk about in a consumer or in a organization or in a individual perspective so every everyone is going to be benefited and this could be the win-win stage when you talk about e-commerce and e-commerce is a need of an hour we have already talked about and types of e-commerce when we are going to talk about it's something which starts with you know the b2b then c2c then c2b b2a c2a b2c so all those those terminologies which is very important and changing with the change of time we are going to discuss on one to one basis and try to make our learners acclimatize with the the term because there are certain technicalities there are certain you know technological intervention which is which is you know giving a uh, uh, roof to this e-commerce so if you if the learners understand all these jargons all these buzzwords which are coming up i think very easily they can mug up this particular course and this course is going to be fruitful for them because with the change of time a lot of carriers are going to be involved and if you go into a backdrop of this course called bcos 184 e-commerce this is a four credit skill oriented course so intention is very clear we are going to make our learner more skilled and uh, emphasize more on the skilling and the, if you talk about the new education policy if you talk about you know the the mandate of the Indira Gandhi National Open University or the School of Management Studies we our intention is to make our learner you know quite skilled so end of the day they they could be more employable and this program this particular course is going to leads to employment also so e-commerce is something which is very important for the learners as a as a student as a as a you know reader you can view that and this course will definitely acclimatize you give acquaint you with the with the latest terminologies and you will find out that after mugging up this particular course you will you will uh, quite you know innovative as far as your thoughts are concerned as far as your learning is concerned and definitely once you enter into a market i think this is going to be quite helpful because it's purely a theoretical course but on the other hand we have taken a lot of you know good videos as self learning material is quite accurate with the with the with the latest trend and taking into consideration the undergraduate student so the load is not like that that the learners can you know, feel that you know it's quite high but somewhere we are using you know the case studies the real life scenarios the latest trend so that the learners can uh, quite you know helpful uh, it could be quite helpful for them and and could be you know easier to understand so anyway if you go into a backdrop very fastly we have uh, we are in the first block and this particular block emphasize more on you know the basics of e-commerce which could be introduction to e-commerce then you have got different models of e-commerce technology to e-commerce electronic governance and a lot of you know the blocks are there so in total we have got you know the 15 self-learning materials so this is available on the e Gosh portal and you can very easily you know go through that particular portal and uh, and uh, you know see the textual format which could be quite explained with the help of certain activities certain case studies and real life scenarios and on the other hand this video is definitely going to add a feather in a cap because the moment you go through this particular video you will find out that uh, that this video is quite agile in nature quite quite you know innovative in nature and this this video can uh, if it could be clubbed with the self learning materials i think the learning can can be immensely good for you so so i think uh, we are on the first chapter and this first chapter you know emphasize more on introduction to e-commerce we have already covered and today discussion you know talks purely on the types of e-commerce so start with you know the impact on customers e-commerce brings convenience for, for customers as they do not have to leave home and only need to browse website online especially for buying the product in which are not sold in nearby shops it could be help customers to buy a wider range of product and and save customers time consumers also gain power through online shopping they are able to research products and compare prices among retailers also online shopping often provides sales promotion or discount code thus it could be more price effective for customers so moreover a customer provides product detail information even the in store staff cannot offer such detailed explanation so customer can also review and track the order history online online channel versus traditional channel if you if you go into a backdrop and find out that 
uh, today online channel is is quite different in nature the supplier is directly you know linked with the consumers if you see you know the upper part of this particular image you will find out that supplier at is one end and customer is there is no intermediary so if you talk about the supplier the new intermediaries are there then customer is there and on the other hand traditional channels is you know have got lot of intermediaries in between then supplier distributors retailers customer Uh, and if you if you know the repercussions of that the repercussion is that the product become quite expensive and uh, somewhere you know lot of things are going to be affected either if you talk about the the refund policy if you talk about you know the change of product or replacement i think when you move through this channel your product is going to be replaced in that mode so end of the day what happened the time cons there would be a time constraint and time would be quite higher so if the product is for the routine usage or regular usage i think somewhere you will face an embarrassment so supplier and distributors heavily reliant on traditional channels with powerful partners may find that their ability to expand and innovate with online channel is stratified so distribution channel if you talk about adopted pure click and brick and uh, click channel systems distinguish pure click and brick and click channel system adapted by companies pure click or pure play companies are those that have launched a website without any previous existence as a firm bricks and click companies are those existing companies that have added an online site for e-commerce click to brick online retailers that later open physical locations to supplement their online efforts e-commerce may take place on retailers website or mobile apps or those of e-commerce marketplace such as amazon or alibaba those channels may also be supported by conversational commerce example given live chat or chatbots or website so conversational commerce may also be stand alone such as live chat or chatbots on messaging apps and via voice assistants types of e-commerce business model so e-commerce is also known as known as electronic commerce or internet commerce transaction of money funds and data are also considered as a e-commerce classifying e-commerce business according to what they sell if you see the physical good is at left side then you have digital goods at right side and if you talk about you know the services it is there so types of e-commerce by goods for sale is like physical goods if you talk about the apparel shoes beauty gifts electronics sports food and drinks bag and accessories and on the other hand digital goods are e-books music and videos photography webinars software games and a lot of you know the digital goods i have come up i will talk about the web series we have seen that lot of movies which are available and uh, we don't have to rely to the setup box and do that so these services are like online training courses copywriting clear uh, travel planning wedding planning pre setting ticketing is there so now this had changed so there are certain services which are now exclusively used through online mode only if we talk about the ticketing ticketing philosophy had been changed there was a time when we go to the ticket counter and book the tickets either it could be the railway tickets or you know the uh, this travel tickets aviation tickets but but right now we book the tickets through this aggregators it could be the uh, yatra.com it could be make my trip it could be booking.com so so now the mindset had been changed so why to go there and there certain incentive which is there so on the other hand if we talk about you know the digital goods the ebook philosophy had come up so a lot of change is coming up and these change had had bought in the things in a more holistic mode uh, you know different manner stores that sell physical goods so these are your typical online retailers clothing furniture tools and accessories are all examples of physical goods shoppers can buy physical goods through online stores by visiting their stores websites adding items in their shopping cart and making a purchases once the shopper has made a purchase the store delivers the item right at their doorstep there are also online stores where customers can make an online purchases but go to the store themselves to pick up the products so some of the examples of e-commerce stores include iwear retailers warby parker menswear or you know the shoe retailer like you know the zappos or red tape in india or other thing service based e-retailers aside from product services can also purchase online every time you hire educators freelancers and consultants through online platforms you are doing business with service based e-retailers the buying process for services depends on the merchant some may allow you to purchase their services straight away from their websites or platform an example of this comes from fever.com a freelancer marketplace people who want to buy services from fever must place an order on the website before the seller delivers their services some services providers on the other hand require you to get in touch with them first that is book a consultant to determine your needs for example blue fountain media a company that creates digital strategies 
for large businesses ask client to contact them by filling in an online form first where they should describe their business needs so this google form or you talk about the survey monkey this kind of you know the questionnaire format had come up where learners are you know uh, uh, or you know the consumers are you know just filling the form and giving their expression of interest so with that expression of interest you know they able to know the taste or you know the flavor about the consumers and then float the product accordingly digital product e-commerce transactions are conducted via the internet which is why in the e-commerce realm products are usually referred as e-goods the term digital products refers to all items that are in a digital format including e-books online courses software graphics and virtual goods so examples of retailers that sell digital products are are coursera a platform for online learning or edx or you know the swayam platform which with government of india is using and uh, ignu is also one of the channel partners into that and audio books a website where you can buy an audio book so there is a change of mindset people are moving from textbook to the audio books and and uh, audible is one of the platform which had been created by amazon and you find out lot of you know the books are there which could be in audio format and giving change to the consumers so now types of e-commerce if we talk about is by participants by goods by business model if we talk about by participant business to consumer is b2c consumer to consumer is c2c consumers government to consumer is g2c business to business is b2b and uh, consumer to business is government to business so this kind of model is there and and by goods if we talk about the physical goods the digital goods the services goods so uh, if and if you talk about the business model drop shipping warehousing private labeling and manufacturing and white labeling is there which is very important aspect we start with the business to consumers b2c e-commerce is the most popular e-commerce model business to consumer means that the sale is taking place between a business and a consumer like when you to buy a rug from a online retailers direct sellers online intermediaries advertising based b2c community based b2c and fee based b2c and if you if you see you know what exactly that business is between the consumers and uh, this is the model which is there business to business if we talk about b2b e-commerce refers to a business selling a good at service to another business like a manufacturer and wholesaler or a wholesaler and a retailer business to business e-commerce is not consumer facing and usually involves product like raw material software or products that are combined manufacturer also send directly to retailers via b2b e-commerce understanding the difference between b2b and b2c is there b2b if we talk about business to business presentation logic driven focus on time money and resources saved favors in in the promotion if we talk about b2c business to consumers promotions favor simple easy message appeals to emotions focuses on benefits and solving problems more difference pertains to b2c and b2b is that if we talk about b2b uh, dealer uh, and is there then b2c is consumer 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 if we talk about b2b i think uh, this is the way the the difference can be done now direct to consumer is there direct to consumer e-commerce is the newest model of e-commerce d2c means that a, a brand is selling directly to their con- to their end consumer without going through a retailer distributor or wholesaler subscription are popular d2c items and social selling via platform like instagram pin interest facebook snapchat are popular platforms for direct to consumer sales if we talk about direct to consumers uh, d2c i think uh, we see that consumer direct is there where you know directly the consumers are are selling the product and then traditional product way of doing the thing is there where certain intermediaries are there and it's reached to the consumers through distribution or through the retailers so this is one of the way by which the channel is there consumer to consumer if you talk about c2c e-commerce refers to the sale of goods or services to other consumer consumer to consumer sales take place on platforms like ebay etsy fever etc to so consumer to consumer a business model in which individual consumers trade with other individual consumers he is a member of the public he is selling she is a member of the public she is selling so this is one of the way by which the things are going to be done and if you talk about consumer to business consumer to business is when an individual sells their services or product to a business organization c to b encompasses influence offering exposure photographers consultant freelancers writers etc the c to b model involves a transaction that is conducted between a consumer and a business organization it is similar to the b to c model however the difference is that in the case the consumer is the seller and the business organization is the buyer 
So in this kind of transaction, the consumer decides the price of a particular product rather than the supplier. The category includes individuals who sell products and services to organizations. For an example, you know the monster Noki.com is there. Now we talk about C2B. C2B is uh, consumer, consumer as is left side and then you have got business at another end, then web or online platform is there, which is very easily, you know, linked with that. Main activities of e-commerce. I think the technology that supports e-commerce include e-commerce, mobile commerce, electronic transfer of funds, internet marketing, electronic data interchange, inventory management, and online transactions. So if you see this particular image, you will find out that e-commerce activity revolves around virtual like auctions, internet banking, online ticketing, electronic payments, and many more. So different policy, logistics, all those things are there. Classifying e-commerce according to the parties involved, looking at the parties participating in the transaction is another way in which e-commerce site can be classified and they are typically, you know, talking more about in that way. And if you see the business to consumer as the name suggests, the B2C e-commerce model represents a transaction between business and individuals. B2C e-commerce is the most common business model among both physical and online retailers. Nike, Mackie, Ikea and Netflix are an example of companies that engage in B2C e-commerce. So if we talk about the Netflix, I think they are right now dominating the web series or OTT market that is over the top market. And you see the the concept had been changed. IKEA is the, is a company which which is known for the for the furnitures, like you know, taking less space and storing the furnitures in a very very small space. So, and they make the product which have got a uh, good uh, durability uh, history. So, this is Nike is is a product which is loved by by the sportsmen. So, anyway, what I mean to say that this is the way by which the change is there. In the B2B e-commerce model, both parties involved are businesses. In this type of transaction, one business provides the other with product and services. Slack, a platform for communication between remote business and Xerox, a uh, cloud-based accounting software for example of B2B companies. The C2B business model represents a transaction in which individuals create value for business. Unlike the traditional business to consumer model where companies are the ones that deliver value, consumers provide companies with product and services, cooperates on projects and ultimately help business increase their profits. Freelancer, a freelance platform that connects remote workers and companies in an example of a company that brings two parties to engage in C2B transactions. So, if you talk about the consumer to consumer, C2C e-commerce happens when the two parties involved are consumers that trade with one another. eBay and Craigslist are examples of online marketplaces where individuals buy and sell products to reach customers. And government to business, if you talk about the G2B e-commerce model happens when the government provides companies with goods and services. Government procurement, data centers and e-learning are all examples of G2B e-commerce. And when you talk about Business to government, the B2G model refers to companies and business that provide goods and services for the government. For example, OpenGO is a company that offers government cloud-based platform for communications, reporting and budgeting. MyGOV.in is the official portal of Government of India, which provides, you know, a facility of like passport, making of passport, Aadhaar, PAN card and whatever, you know, the identifications are there. Very easily you can, you can go and do that. So, this is something which work on the zero tolerance model and very easily you do that. Anyway, I think I have talked a lot about certain types of uh, e-commerce which was very important and to understand the consumers and it's not like that whatever I have talked, it's it's a thumb rule, it's a final. There are certain changes which are coming, coming up in a very faster mode and a lot of amend, amendments are coming up. So during this discussion, during this video discussion, we try to cover all those aspects and try to talk about those trends. So because the whole world is right now moving from brick and mortar system to click and mortar system and a lot of robot based changes had come up. So if you see as far as the e-commerce is there, uh, the, the robots are interacting with us. So if you talk about, you know, the physical mode or, uh, you know, the, 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 the latest mode, of, of doing a business, you find out that initially if we have a certain queries, the call goes to the artificial intelligence, uh, you know, uh, uh, customer care where where AI equipped, you know, the robots are, are interacting with us and we feel that, you know, it's, it's, it's a tailor-made call, but it's not like that. So majority of the, you know, the 
uh, the grievance is need to be resolved by by the computers by the technology itself so anyway i think by that i am going to wind up that and we have some more thought provoking sessions which emphasize more on what exactly you the e-commerce is because this preliminary block is very important it emphasize more on the basics of e-commerce and the moment you uh, acquaint with the basics of e-commerce then we switch over into various trends of e-commerce it could be either you know the policy part it could be either the security part or whatever the changes are coming up what new thought is coming up because uh, we know that you know there was a currency there was a plastic money then there was a you know the wallet and now the virtual currency is knocking a door so so and uh, and uh, if you if you read some good articles you find out that the electric car market the hybrid car is coming up we are moving towards the industry 4.0 hybrid age and this hybrid age we see that the chauffeur less market is uh, car market is coming up where where the car is going to be uh, run by by the machine by the by the technology by the robot so all those you know this this change is coming up and uh, there there is a great use of so the technology the the connecting uh, connecting with the internet all those thing is very important anyway thank you very much we have some more thought provoking sessions i hope you have enjoyed thank you